little bit brighter. Normally it's a bright room and it's sunny outside, but whatever. So, like I said, sometimes you just see a sign and you get inspired. I love this sign. I absolutely adore it. I think it's a, it's really, really cute. It has the bicycle with the flowers on it and just the, the message right now, we need to get out and, you know, outside a little bit more, move a little bit more, exercise a little bit more. And I thought, how fun is this? Just enjoy the ride. That's the type of bike that I've been asking Dan to get me for a very long time. And I'm still waiting, Dan. <laughs> um, we have some gorgeous florals and greens that we're gonna be using. Um, I'm not sure where I got them. The tulips I got from a D stash. I have some really pretty uh, light blue. I have some cream. I have some pink to just uh, pop it off. I cut some gorgeous um, white flowers, just have it hang a little bit. So we're just gonna have fun. We're just gonna craft. I, it was a it was a week, guys. It was an absolute week, as I'm sure you've all had. So let's just be creative. And if it turns out, it turns out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. This one is absolutely gonna have a bow. And I have the ribbon to match with a really fun fuzzy pink border and I got this from Ranch House Reitz Designs. I don't know if they have any more but how fun is that? I don't know if I want to use this. I have to use this ribbon. <laughs> I hope so Betsy. Hey Julia how you doing honey? So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to bring the um, camera down. And if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes in three, two, and one. Bring it down to the board. Mm, that may be a little too close. We'll see. It may not. It may. For those of you just joining, Hello, my name is Amy Rose from Amy Rose Recent Crafts. I am live on Facebook, but you're also watching it on YouTube. So enjoy. Okay, so this is a 20 inch grapevine wreath um, that, well, I sort of cleaned. <laughs> I tried to clean. Um, and I got this from my wholesaler, Travis's, when I was uh, shopping with CD. Hello, Virginia. Good afternoon. And happy Friday. This I got from Jana Mae. Where's her card? Her card is buried underneath here. And I want to make sure that I give you, I want to put a picture of her card. So that way you can see. Hmm, now I can't find it. I'm sure I'll find it like after I move all this stuff away from here. But Jana Mae. She calls it the wreath buddy and super awesome idea that her son had and made. And it's so you can put it through the grapevine or wreath or whatever you're doing, my brooms, whatever. You can put it through, take the wire or a pipe cleaner or whatever, and then pull it right through and you won't have, you won't have to be fishing inside the grapevine. Hello. Hi, you're getting caught on me. Okay. So I'll be using this today. Thank you, Julia. I appreciate that. I, the card was right here. It got moved around with the flowers. So super awesome idea from her son. I'm going to be using that today. Like I said, the florals. I have this ribbon. Love. I have some of this ribbon. I wanted to incorporate the basket that's on the actual a bike. So maybe this one. Maybe this one, I'm not sure yet. Maybe this. You know, I pick uh, way too much ribbon all the time. But we're gonna try it. Hi, Dana. Dan is not here. Let me see. Hey, Dan. I wonder if he's on a call. <laughs> yes, Pam, you really do. Super simple. 
super easy. It just, it's, <laughs> it's just like, holy nuggets. Is that awesome? Let me see if I can put on the light. I don't know how Dan did it. Oh, there we go. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. I had my glue pot on, right? It's like a basket in itself. So we're, like I said, we're just having fun. Um, and uh, we're gonna do, you know, something great, I hope. So with the grapevines, they're never, <laughs> they're never even all the way around, okay? So you may have some skinny parts, you may have some, some fatter parts, you know, it just all depends. Um, they're still really awesome to work with. So for this sign, since it's a, a square, the sign is a 10 by 10. I'm gonna use the fatter part and I'm gonna place it here. I want it towards the bottom so that way, because my bow will go here and I want florals to come out this way. I still wanna see a little bit of the grapevine, but I want like the florals to come out a little bit from behind the sign. Don't forget from behind the sign um, and just going out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. First, we need to prep it. So let me get, I got me where grapevines again. Yep, gotta start doing grapevines. I am just going to cut off the rope. Don't throw it away, guys, because you can use this to make a hanger. Normally on my grapevines, I don't do hangers. Um, every time I've done one, I've asked, and they're like, no, we have a we have a wreath hanger, or we have a hook for the door. I'm like, okay, we're just gonna hang it from there. Cool, no problem. So I just don't do them anymore. So I just took off the tags. I'm just going to see where I'm going to place it. I want one right here and one right there. Here and here. Move it to this side if I can. Here and here. Hold on. I got to do that again. I got to make sure that I'm in. Because the thicker part, I want to make sure that I get an, enough of that grapevine for it to hold. And I want it to kind of be even like with the ground when it's hanging here in here okay I had a pencil when in doubt use a sharpie boop boop that's gonna just show me where I'm going to put my backers okay guys so once again I'm just going to use my staple gun I am going to take a piece of felt. This is fabric felt. You can use foam. You can use the um, zip tie mounts. Completely up to you. I just don't have any right now and I'm not going out to get them. <laughs> They're not needed, so I'm good. Then I have brown pipe cleaners. Okay, so Oh, I don't need four. I'm not going through mesh. Look at me. I'm like, oh, I got to twist some together. No, I don't. I'm not going through mesh where it's huge. I'm going to put those right there for now because I'm going to use them again when I do my bow. I am just going to roll it on itself just a couple times. And then I put a, bleh, a hot glue right there. And I'm going to put some hot glue right here. Okay. So put that there and I'm just put down my pipe cleaner and then staple. I'm hoping it didn't go through. Nope. It did not go through. Woohoo! I didn't measure it before I did it. I'm like, oh, after I did the first staple, I'm like, oh no, oh no. Okay. So I'm going to do the same over here. I just put it here so that way it holds Put a glob of glue right there and I'll look at the comments shortly and 
try to do it in the middle. If it's not in the middle, not that big of a deal. We're good to go. Ugh. The glue, guys. The madness of the strings of the glue. I'm really sorry about the light. I need to get a light, I know. Now we're gonna let that cool. Don't touch it, don't do anything with it. In the meantime, let's go ahead and stay right there and cut some of, some of these flowers. While we're just letting the glue do its thing, I like putting a little bit of glue at the base just so that way it doesn't pop off. You just never know. And I can't tell you where I got these flowers, guys. I just don't know. So I'm gonna let those cool just a little bit. These, <laughs> I got at Michael's. And if you ever worked with the Michael's little tulips before, you know that the heads pop off. So automatically, I'm just gonna hit a couple with some hot glue right by the base. I don't want nothing to be popping off. And then I'm gonna bring up ay, on some of them. Oh, that really hurt. Sugar Ray Leonard. Okay. <laughs> Cause I want some of them to be high, some of them to be low. It's not like it's in a cross or a wreath. So I'm gonna cut up a full bunch. Michaels, well, at least they did it you know, where you could rip them off now. Which one has it where you can't rip it off? I can't remember. Or it's hard to rip them off. Some of them slide really easy. Some of them don't. There we go. <laughs> As you watch on a live, me burn myself. That's okay. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. I'm just gonna spread them out and I'm cutting them to the very base, okay? Because I can always cut it shorter if need be. And these strings are driving me nuts. This one, Mainstay. Who is Mainstay? Maybe Walmart, I think. This is just a really pink, pretty pink peony. I hope I'm saying that right. Peony, peony, peony. And this is what I have at home, guys. I didn't go out and I don't, you know, I didn't um, buy stuff. It's what I had um, here at home already. So leftover flowers. Why not? These were leftover from when I did my princess diaper cake. This is when I did that really pretty other um, oval grapevine for a friend at work, which she loved. And then the very next day we all had to work from home. <laughs> so these are gonna be the pop of pink in there to go with the sign. And I'm gonna add some blue. Right? <laughs> Aren't they pretty in these? Hi, Tammy. Hello. I'm just cutting while my um, sign is busy cooling. I am just taking some tulips. And I may not use this much, but you know, you're going to cut them anyways. Why as well just cut them now because I wanted to bring in the blue from the bike we will see how many I use I don't know yet once again like everybody else the design is in my head what comes out may be different and that's okay 
Georgiana? Like I said, this is stuff that I already had. So you don't have to go out and get stuff. I think that's the main thing right now. Use what you got. Craft Outlet is back on hiatus. I went to go order. I'm like, oh, yay. And then it said, oh, I'm not opening up until Sunday. And I'm like, oh, boo. I'm like, okay, well, gotta do what you gotta do. That's well. Okay. I think those are enough for right now. Let me cut these. I just think they're pretty. The way they hang. I may put it underneath the sign just to add some interest. And I know this is not what you wanted to see me cutting everything, but I wanted to show you how I did the sign, how I attached my uh, pipe cleaners, or you can do wire to your sign and then go from there. All right, let me show that you the magic of this tool right here. Don't burn myself, don't burn myself, don't burn myself. Bam. Okay, let's get the grid line back up. Where's my fat part? My fat part is here. And I am working towards me, guys. I'm sorry. When um, I start adding the florals, I'll go ahead and turn it around and add them that way. It's just so that way I can see my sign placement. <laughs> so I have a here and here. Yeah. So... What you're going to do is go from the back, okay? You're going to go from the back of your grapevine. Whoop! I went a little too far. A little too far. There we go. And now, I could put one, you could put two, I hope you can see. Let me bring it a little closer. Now you could put both pipe cleaners through. I'm just gonna put it through one through here and one through another section. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap it around. Doesn't have to be really tight. Then I'm gonna pull it through and bam. Can you see that? Let me wait until I can catch up. Hi, Susan. I hope you can see that. It went right through, you weren't fishing. You weren't trying to figure where you know, things are, etc. So it's just a great tool to have. Great, great tool to have. And Julie, if I'm missing the comments, if you could please put Jana May's um, website in there again, that would be appreciated. I thank you, girl. So now I'm just gonna go back through. You can't see, I'm sorry. So here's this one. So I'm gonna go back through, just pick a spot, you know. You may have to finagle a little bit. Really? This grapevine, some parts of the grapevine are really close and tight in, and some aren't. And I'm just gonna take my other pipe cleaner, put it through that hole, wrap it around, and then fish it through. Oh, my sign moved. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I got to do it from my angle. There we go. I'll show you in the back. Okay. And now I'm just going to twist it. Okay. So I got it through. So now I'm just going to twist it. And then I'm going to put it right back in through here. And I'm going to show you a trick on how to hide this. So now let me get to the other side. It is easy, but I'm just trying to show you and it's hard to show you. <laughs> when I'm working underneath the frame. But I'll grab a pipe cleaner and I'll show you how easy it is to pull through. So what have you been doing today? 
you've been working like me or have you been crafting? You've been spending time with the kiddos. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to twist it. And if you wanted to use wire, you could. I just have these brown pipe cleaners just match very well. And you can hide them in. Like the other one, I'm like, where did that one go? I'm trying to make sure that I have enough of the branches to hold that sign. I may go back in, guys. Hold on. Actually, no. I think we're good. We are good. We are good. We are good. And then you're just gonna push it on in. Or you can cut them off completely up to you. So now I have my sign. Sorry guys, there's somebody at the door. Sorry, sorry, sorry guys. Hold on guys. that lady walking over there ah uh, it's a telemarketer <sighs> why would you do this when there's a, a, a whatever okay moving on thank you thank you thank you Julia okay so let me show you with another zip tie the one that you can see so I have a green one I just want to show you how awesome this tool is so if I'm going from behind okay and I take my pipe cleaner and I just bend it or your wire or whatever. You could just pull it through. Okay. See how awesome that is? You can pull it all the way through. I love this thing. Love it. I'm going to use it for a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> okay. So now that my sign is attached, it's a little wobbly wobbly. What is this one? I want to make sure that it doesn't fall off. I don't want it to come off. So I'm just going to pick a better point of contact with one of them because it doesn't seem like there's a lot. That's the one thing with big sign like this. I want to have enough of the grapevine for my pipe cleaners to go around. So I'm just fishing this through. Hi, Lori. There we go. And then pull it through. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. Yep. Much better. And you do the same thing. That took a lot. Sorry. Of course, when you're on a live, that's when it gives you the most difficulty. Hi, Dorothy. Dan is still working at the table. So hopefully he'll come on in. Love this sign. Okay. So let's go ahead and start adding in our greens. I always start with my greens first. So I have this really pretty bushel. I know this came from, um, whatchamacallit, from Craft Outlet. But I want to break it up. So you see how you can break it up there? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it into sections. So that way I can get a little bit more out of my greens. You can see right there. So I'm going to break it up here and then I'm going to break it up here. So now I have three pieces instead of one. Don't throw this away. This is great. I've showed you how a couple of times how to use the sticks um, during Christmas time and Halloween. You'll want to use those sticks. So 
So keep those to the side. So now I'm just going to add in. Now we're, that was the fun part. Now we're going to be playing just a little bit more. Oh, I forgot I had these. Love these. You take whatever grain, whatever flour you have on hand. Like I said, I don't know a lot of flour about flowers or greenery or anything like that, but hey. It sure can. Yep, Julia. It does work on the mesh. I just use it on that. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. How are you? Hi, Sean. Hello. I love this too. I'm not sure about the top, but that's okay. If you don't like something on greenery, snip it to the edge. I'm going to show you a secret. Okay, I've got my... I'm just going to take the hot glue, put it right on top. And you're not going to see that part anyways, because I'll put a flower there or I'll put a tulip or it'll be like right where the bow sits. I just wanted the green. That's all I wanted. What else we got? We got tons of greens. We're just going to have some fun. Put some green stuff in and I'll wait for that to cool. I don't know why I blow on it. some water. These, ugh, these strings are driving me nuts. Like with these, I don't particularly like this, but it will go with our sign. So I'm going to leave them on. Okay, so let's start putting in some greens. So this bigger one, I'm going to put at the top. And it is wired, so I'm just going to bend it. I'm going to put it back behind my sign. Okay, that's pretty. There's two in there so I can fluff them out. So now, oh, wow, it's going to drive me nuts. I'm just dipping in my hot glue pot. If you don't have a hot glue pot, it's fine. Use your hot glue gun and just put some glue on the tip and then put it on in. Like I said, I want, I want a little bit of the grapevine to show because that's what's pretty about it. You want to make sure that you're still allowing some of it to show through. So I'm just adding... This maybe here, but I want to make sure that I'm adding down at the bottom as well. So I'm going to take a little bit smaller one. I'm going to add it to the bottom. Once again, I'm just going to bend it the way I want it. I'm going to push it on in. Oh, I forgot. That's where the bow is going to be. What I do with my grapevines, if I know where something is going to be, and I'm not going to, I'm going to have the green or the flower close to the bow, but I don't want to cover up the green with that bow. So I'm just going to move it over just a little bit. I have a mess now, like you wouldn't believe. So I need to turn it just a little bit so that way I can get it in the way that I won't. Hi, Sue! There we go. Yes. And that's just the, the wrapping, the floral wrapping. Just dipping it a little bit in the glue. And pushing it on in and jiggling it a little to make sure that it has contact with the grapevine 
and it gets in there and it sticks to everything because the bow is going to be right there. I'm not professional with when it comes to grapevines. I just like doing them. <laughs> I just think they're fun. I think, you know, why not? <laughs> they mainly remind me of my brooms. I love my brooms when I do them. So I think that's why I like doing the grapevines. Because I think I started with the grapevines first or the brooms first and then slowly but surely went to a grapevine where I'm like, I can do a broom. I can do a grapevine. What am I afraid for? So I'm just finding, I don't know about those. I don't know about these yet. I'm going to take those out for right now. Now I have this bushel that I used on my home. Uh-oh. What's with the angry face? Come on now. We're just having some fun. We're just making a grapevine. It's not that serious. That I like a little bit better. There we go, yeah. Just dipping it in my hot glue and putting it on in. And jiggling it around. just building that's all you're doing I'm gonna put another one right here I may yep I am I'm gonna split them up even more hi Betsy I know right it's the little fuzzies because I want to add to the side so I want a little green poking out from behind the scene, the scene, the sign, the scene. <sighs> Where'd I learn her to spoke? English. I can't talk sometimes. There we go. Like I said, the bow is going to go here, but I want the fun element still to be coming down. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I hope you're having some fun. I just wanted to come on because I would love this sign. And I wanted to do another great sign with you guys. Jiggling it in there. So that way you just have from the sides coming out. I'm sure there's a technical term for that. Aw, thanks, Julia. Yes, go ahead and force push me out if you could. And if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Much appreciated. You know what? I may put this up here. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm putting put this right in my finger in the glue. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my finger in the glue, and it's gonna be awesome, guys. <laughs> Ouch! Owie! It's okay. It's okay. Just lost a little bit of skin. Not a lot. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. <laughs> keep trucking. Keep trucking. Now I have these little ones that I had from my past grapevine. I'm just going to add those in here and there. Like I said, we're just doing the greens. You always want to do your greens before. 
before you do your florals because you don't want your florals to be covered up, you know. I'm just having a time with this glue. I really am. It's making me real happy. <laughs> no, not really at all. Oh, Susan, you're not late. You're fine. I'm still here. It's really dark and I don't know why. I'm trying to put it closer to the light so that way you can see. So I'm going to put some of this right in here. And not put my finger in the glue this time. So I'm angling it in. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's foliage right there. Need that foliage. Now I'm going to go back in. Oh, I have some more. So let me go ahead. Just put another one right here. So I want to make sure that I'm getting the sides too. The inside and the sides. I decided I didn't want to go there, but it wants to go there. That's fine. You can go there. That's perfectly okay. Now the little fuzzies. Where did the other one? Okay, that's fine. Where am I going? Ah! <laughs> what am I doing? Now I'm just going to put the, um, what did we say this was? Boxwood? <laughs> Guys, I am the worst when it comes to florals and the names of things and whatnot. So please, please, please don't get angry with me. I just know it's pretty and I'm going to put it in there. I thought that came apart a little bit more. It doesn't. But I'm going to put it over here. Over there. These are also bendable, so you can move them however way you want. There. So what? now we have our greens on. So a little bit coming out here, a little bit coming down there. The bow will go here. Oh, I have this one. Look at me. I'm like, oh, green. Oh, green. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Squirrel. Yeah, let me go ahead and put this one. Cause it's just one, you know, what am I going to do with one? <laughs> you add it to a grapevine, create some interest. Mm -hmm. And I think I need more. More glue on my glue pot. Okay. My cat's decided to just sit right there. Kitty, kitty. No, no, no. You need to go this way. Go that way. Thank you. <laughs> Let me read some comments. Right? Flowers, greens, leaves. That's what I do. <laughs> That's what they are to me. Oh, and see, I have these. I just like green. I, I really do. I like when it's full. I like when there's a whole... It's the simplicity of something that I like. And greens, they are the best. Put some of that in there. And why not? Doesn't matter the real name. They're all, right, they're all pretty. They sure are. You got that right. So I got some on the side here. I got some on the side over there. Ay! Cat? He's attacking my toes. He's like right in between my legs, but he's decide, mm, I go here now, so I'm gonna attack you. I'm gonna put that right there. <laughs> Gotta love cats. And he's just attacking my foot. What did I do to you, Ezio? Okay, for 
reals. Okay, I think I'm done with greens. Okay, stop with the greens. Okay, Amy, I will. I'll stop with the greens. Now, since the sign has some blue, like almost like a mint, maybe, I wanted to add some of the tulips in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some tulips. I'm just gonna put them around. Wherever I see a little hole. I'm gonna put it around there. And then cut the ends off as needed. So I said, you can't add, but you can subtract. You sure can. Well, I'll put it right here. Just a little bit of flowers coming up on the sign with the glue strings. And it has some pretty cream. I'll put more blue in it now. Let's put more blue. Blue is my favorite color. Anything in the family, <laughs> the cool colors, that's my favorite. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I would have my entire house this color. It pretty much is <laughs> to an extent. There we go. Take another blue over here. I say I had another blue. I keep getting that message that I have low disk space. I'm like, what are you talking about? I have no disk in there. I don't know what that is half the time. What? I don't get computers. I don't, don't get technology. I get this stuff. So that's what we have kind of this far. I'm sorry this area is so dark. And we're gonna to continue to add. Now I have some white tulips that I'll put in there. I like the fact that this is a little bit fuller than this side. Oh, I love that. Love, 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 love. And I'm going to put this on in this area. You don't want to forget your sides. Don't forget your sides and your middle. Ugh. And with these glue, uh, these uh, glue strands, you know, if they're really messing with you, just take a um, blow dryer to them. I'm going to cut some of this off because that's just bothering me how much that's there. Much better, yes. And then I could add this little piece on this side in here. Because the wreath, your wreath is gonna be looked at from the side, from the back, not the back, but you know, from the front. I just wanna make sure Everywhere is a little bit interesting. A little interesting. Why is that there? Let me get rid of this. That way. Now I can see some comments. Okay, Ezio, please. Ezio, okay, go ahead and check my foot, but I need you to go over that way. Thank you. Thank you, kitty, kitty. And he went right back to where it was. <laughs> I can't win with the cat. I really can't. That may be a little too high. Yeah, it's a little too high. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna put it a little bit lower. God. Does anybody else have an issues with the Gorilla Glue being this stringy? I know I say it every time I use it, but good bless America. 
like crazy. And I don't know why. I don't know if they changed their formula or what they did, but it's no bueno. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not digging this guys. With the new formula, whatever they're using now. I'll put one right here. I'm trying to work upside down so that way you can see what I'm doing. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. Just moving leaves around. There we go. All right, guys, I need to look at it for just a minute. Oh, that is pretty. That's so pretty. So I'm going to put some underneath the sign over here. So I'm going to put some white. I'm going to put some blue. I just want it peeking. So I know. Uh, no, I was working, but CD, after the live, I'll go ahead and take a look at it. Right? That's what he wants. He just wants to be there. And I don't mind it because he sleeps with me. He sleeps, sleep. well, no, I shouldn't say that. I sleep with him because he'll sleep on my face. <laughs> like right by my head or right by my feet. And if I happen to take my feet from underneath the covers, oh, it's on now. He'll either attack them or he'll just be like, oh, it's time for pets with feet. I don't get it. I really don't. Just wiggling it around. I thought I had more blue. What happened to my blue? I thought I cut more. Okay, it's fine. Fine. You know what? Let me put a blue one up here. That really hurt my finger. Oh, I should have put a blue here. Hold on. Because I have a blue here and a white there. So I'm going to put a blue here and a white there. Ha ha. <laughs> I hope you all are going out and getting some exercise. Might as well, right? We got the time. Ricky's school said that they're not going to start up until April 27th again. And I was like, holy good golly. In another district, they, they cancel school for the entire year. Like, they're done. I'm like, God bless. I couldn't imagine. I really couldn't imagine. I'm not going to use that one again. So are your school districts doing that or are they still on track? They're just doing it week by week. Because right now, I don't know. I don't know. More like having Ricky at home, Obs. He was serenading us. He had to practice his French horn. So he has to practice and we get to hear it. So it's just nice. You know, now that we have the time with the kiddos, you know, a little bit more time, you know, spend it with them. You know, just, we've had conversations in regards, and we like listen to music, and you, you just don't know. It's like, well, when did you start getting into that music, and how did you do that? Brian is your wire cutter. This is a cobalt from Amazon. That's right, Susan. The cat totally runs everything. I am loving this, guys. Oh, I'm so loving it. Okay. Oh, I have these. Do I want to put these in? I think I want to make the stem a little shorter. Oh yeah, that'll be pretty. Just playing with flowers. If you don't like it, take it out. Not that big of a deal. Let me look at it. 
by the cut. Let me see here. I'm just trying to, I'm checking and I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to place it. Or maybe I don't have those. Because they're limpy. <laughs> they're very, very limpy. Unless I put them in here. They are really pretty and I want to use them. I just don't know, like if I put them here. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, yours are done too, Julia? That's nuts. Hmm. Maybe on a summer one, I'll, I'll put these. I still really like them. It's just because they fall a certain way. I would have to have it like if my sign was up here and they would be falling this way. It's hard to, you know, get them in a position where you want and for them to stay. So we'll leave those for another project. It's okay. Boo, I wanted to use those, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to put in my pink flowers now. So I only have three. Like I said, I did not go out and buy new stuff. Oh, I have four. Woo Bonus. Um, I'm using what I have from my florals. Hi, Teresa. So now, since I only have four, I just want like the pop of pink that's in the sign. So I may put... Uh, you know what? Ah, that's a little bit longer. That's why you don't cut them short. Oh, I like that. Let's get, let's get loud. Let's get loud. Let me see where I want to put it. and not burn myself like I did last time. <laughs> Do you hear him? He just got a call. <laughs> oh yes, I love just that pa because it's in here. Oh, I love that. I love it, love it, love it. Let me see. Let me put one over here. I'm going to put it a little bit higher. <gasps> That's so pretty. <laughs> if you're new to watching me, you'll know my little oh and oh. It's when everything is going the way I want it. <laughs> and Dan is here. I don't want to talk. Why? Just say hello. Don't hello. be rude. Hi, everybody. He's been working, and uh, we're not going to talk about it. We'll talk about it offline. <gasps> That's gorgeous. I don't know if I like this. This seems, eh. Easy. Just pull it out. And I want to put something else there. Or maybe I won't. Hey, Betsy. They were all looking for you. Well, so was everybody at work. <laughs> and they don't pay me. Who? The people on this live. <laughs> well, you don't have to be that way about it, Dave. Oh, yes, I do. Why? Because I'm all about the money. You want me to be your friend is contingent upon how much money you give. <laughs> right? Directly to me. You buy my friendship. Wow, guys. Sorry. Apparently, I have to buy friendship now. I have to buy Ricky's love, so. No, you don't. I do, too. You do not. My kid has every video game system in the universe, and he still hates my guts. He doesn't hate your guts. I'm just repositioning things, guys, because... I like this right here, and I wanted to pull out that plastic-looking thing. 
because everything else is looking really pretty. Uh, Betsy, I just had a really... Well, don't come on my live like that. Really long day is all. A lot of scramble time at work. Which I'm sure just a lot of people are having some scramble time at work. There we go. Okay, I'm going to like this a lot better. And I'm going to put a blue one here. Where is everybody? There's only 18 people watching. I know. It's okay. Somebody else must be live. 16. It's okay. Oh, 19. <laughs> Hi, Melanie. Melanie Mangiello. He likes, Manangielo. He loves saying your last name, Melanie. Melanie Manangielo. <laughs> He's probably saying it all wrong, too, huh? I'm not saying it wrong. Are you sure? Yeah, she's told me she loves the way I say her name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Manangielo. This is just driving me nuts right over here in this little corner. Bear it, with me here, guys. It's a reminder her of the older country. Does it now? I don't know. That is really just driving. Okay. <laughs> Take it out. Put another one in. There. It was just wasn't going where I wanted it to go. There we go. Much better. Thank you. Yes. Okay, and talk to your wreaths. Talk to your flowers. I do all the time. Sometimes I'm in here by myself. Nobody else is home or whatever the case may be. And they're all wires. So go ahead and, you know, don't be nice to them. Now I think I want to put a pink one over here and then maybe one more up here and then they're going to do a bow. going to do a bow, guys. Which one was longer, did I say? Oh, they're both pretty long. Julia says this is turning out gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I like it up here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And I'll show you guys in just a minute. And when I put the flowers in, I'm pushing the heads sideways. There we go. Come on now. There. Which means I'm just, when I'm putting them in, I'm just bringing it up as an L. Julia says, mine usually gets a really from me. What? Mine usually gets a really from me. <laughs> really? 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 Mm. Hold on, guys. I have to hold it up and take a look. Have you tried threatening it? Threatening what? The wreath, if it doesn't cooperate. No. We don't do that here. I may add more later on. I do like that though. I'm just looking at spacing, guys. That's all I'm doing. Okay, Reith. You no cooperate. I turn you into frisbee. Frisbee? Throw it in the pool. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's how I'm going to put it. Betsy says, me too. <laughs> Leanne Eton Graves is here. Hello, Lee. What is everybody having for dinner? We're going to have some shepherd's pie. Lee says she's sorry she's late. Don't be sorry. You guys have stuff to, stuff to do. Y'all have lives. I get it. I do, believe it or not. I do. Mmm. 
Okay, you can take all that mess right there. Are you talking to me? Yes. Your little... My brain is gone. Yeah, so is mine. So well, is a lot of people. It affects me more, apparently, yeah. than it affects you. Okay, so... Oh, you grumpy guys. Leanne is suing. Suing? Mm -hmm. You still sewing masks? What else is sewing masks? No, it says suing right here. She's suing somebody. She's not suing anybody. Lisa, okay, this will be the last KFC one, I promise. The cooking tonight. I could be... You're going to have KFC? Does it say KFC? Lee. KFC sounds good. Wait, Lee, why aren't you going getting something from Griddles? Amy suggested KFC the other night. It got vetoed. <laughs> Everybody's like, no. I'm like, okay, boo. We had walk this way. You're last putting night. your finger real close to that uh blue I'm gun. aware of what I'm doing. Okay, guys. There we go. Just want to make sure that it gets in there. Oh. Lee says she's at Griddles every night. <laughs> That's true. No matter how much you clean it, you're still going to get... Okay. That's what we have thus far. I think it's pretty. Let's do a bow. We need a bow right there. And I think I am going to bring in the tan. Yeah. And I am going to try something new, guys. I Can you put that over there, please? Please, hurry. My hand was all weird. Thank you, cat. Please don't do that. You're going to... Just give it to me, please. You're really starting to... Ah! It's one of those days, guys. Okay. So I think I'm going to do this color. Then my bike. I do like this, but... I got a lot of blue in there. So I may do this one. It has a little bit of glitter to it. So I may do that. Yep, mask, mask, mask. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I am going to do, attempt to do a hand bow. I'm still gonna put this here because I am not, my sister's not on, but she's the one that does the bows. So I'm going to do about 16 inch tail. I'm going to pinch it. Then let's see. About a six inch loop. I don't want the loops too big because like I said, we got a lot of florals in there and that sign. I don't want to cover up either. So we're going to do about a six. So I'm pinching it and then twisting and then bringing it back. I need to just put that over there. So I'm pinching, making sure my loops, that one needs to be a little bit longer. Making sure my loops are the same. So now I'm gonna twist it. I'm gonna bring it back. Now it's a little bit easier because I know this loop needs to be The same. I'm doing a hand bow because one, I need to start learning how to do hand bows. And two, since it's a grapevine and I'm only doing one bow, yeah, why not? And I'm just making sure 
but they're all even because it's just one bow you know I'm they're even ish twisting and then bringing it around for my last loop and twisting so I'm just doing a three two one really easy I make sure I have the same length and tails. Okay. Now where's my, I had a pipe cleaner. I'm just gonna grab a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna go from the back to the front I know it looks like a hot mess now, but I've been practicing, guys. <laughs> I have been practicing. And then just twisting off. Okay. So there's one. All right. Now I'm going to go in. Sorry. Nobody likes that noise. I'm going to go in with my cute bicycle ribbon. I'm gonna do two of these. So, oh, that's all wonky down here. I know, right? It's a, got this really fun border. It's just really fun. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter. And so then these loops, I'm going to be about five, five inches. Yep, five inches. If you want to measure, you can measure it that way. Then twist. This one's a little bit easier for you to see on the right side. Um, mm -hmm. No, we can't do it that way because this has a pattern. All right. This I know how to do guys. <laughs> so that way the pattern shows the same way. So let me bring it this way. So that way you can see. So here's my tail. Here's my first loop. Oh, I need to make it a little bit bigger. There. Okay. Because it has the bikes, if I twist it and bring it, it's going to be upside down. So I'm not going to twist it. This is where it gets a little wonky, guys. I'm gonna bring it over. Okay. And then pinch it in the middle. So that way, the bikes, they're all riding the same way. Ow. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna bring it under. Ellen loves the ribbon. Pinch it. I know where you saw. Still making sure that they're the same size. And doing the same again. Bringing it over. I had to make happy noises with my face mouth. I'm sure I confused you all now. <laughs> I'm sure there's other videos, much better videos, on hand bows than I'm doing right now. But nobody does the hand jive as good as her. I do do the good hand jive. What movie, guys? There's no prize, but what movie? Oh, that almost landed on my foot. The cat was not happy about that. That's the only problem. It's trying to cut it when you have this in your hand. So now I, you don't have to, or maybe you do, I don't know. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to lay this in. We got it. What? Grease. Grease. Oh, but she spelled it wrong. It's actually G-R-E-E-C-E. -E -E. So I'm just going to fluff this one out so that way you can see that all the bicycles are going the same way. That was a joke about the grease thing. 
This one needs to come out a little bit more. That's really wonky. I may, after this live, just go back and just do it on the bow cheater. The bow cheater. <laughs> like I said, guys, I am not the best at making bows. Hand bows, that is. I have to CD. remember this when I use my aunt, aunt ribbon. Your aunt ribbon, yes. There's always the replay. And I'm debating if I'm going to put this on YouTube now because Mr. Grumpy Pants came in. <laughs> oh, no, he's all hurt. <laughs> Don't come out of my live all grumpy. Okay. So now I have the one that's going to go in the middle. And then I'm going to do a loop. See, and it's gonna, it's gonna allow me to use this ribbon because I can't even remember what I got this ribbon for. Um, why am I trying to cut left-handed? Okay, it's gonna bring that. In here and maybe we'll just do the loop of the pink stripe that I have I've got a really cute pink stripe see I said I'm winging it that's exactly what I'm doing <laughs> I am winging it guys Okay, so there's the loop. Now, I'm going to try to get everything in my hand at the same time. Hey, that wasn't so hard. I do want to get a zip tie because I don't trust my bow without a zip tie at this point. <laughs> you just got to practice, right? Practice makes progress. I don't say perfection because, yeah, well, maybe you can be perfect, but most people just want to make progress, right? Good golly. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I'm like, what happened there? Just pull in, making sure that they're all even. There, okay. <sighs> For reals, guys. <laughs> there. I did a hand bow for you guys. <laughs> On my live. Little bit of practice. Not a lot. <laughs> and it's still pretty cute. But I don't fluff until I get it on the wreath. So now I'm going to take that same... I'm going to use the brown because that's going to camouflage into my, um, into my, into my, uh, grapevine. Oh, no, he's all happy. Longest time. Oh, I said it wrong. You said it wrong? Yeah, I did it wrong. Can you hand me the, um, the grapevine? This loop is going to drive me nuts. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. I'm going to do the same thing, guys. <gasps> I lost it. Where did it go? Haha. -ha. I thought my innocence was gone. Now I'm gonna put it through the back of the grapevine. Just wiggle it through. I'm gonna put my pipe cleaner through and bend it up a little. 
and then bring it back down. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I know you can't see. Is how I need you and how you so need now you I'm just gonna wrap it around. I got a good chunk of grapevine. And I'm gonna wrap that around. I'm gonna just gonna twist it. I and then if you wanted to, you can you can cut it off. I just put it right back in there. Now with the edges, I'm just gonna clip them off. The ones that I see. If you wanted, you could put some moss back here. Completely up to you. That wasn't a lot at all. I'll take my chances. Now just move your bow. That is a pretty bow. For the longest Yay. time. Okay. Let me get my thing up really quick. Hold on to your heart. Now I got stuff everywhere, guys. Okay. And it's more than I'm gonna pull it up. I know you can't see. I'm just making final adjustments. You know me, I need to make it pretty for you guys before I show you. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it's going to stay on this holder. And I'm going to cut my tails. I'm going to cut them at an angle. I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna say it too. <laughs> See, I was trying to bring the cheerfulness and stuff. And... Ooh. Yeah. <sighs> that ain't gonna work. Didn't work. Just hold on, guys. I'm just cutting my tails at an angle. Are they ponytails? Yes, they're ponytails. Are they cottontails? They're cottontails. No ducktails. Woo! -hoo. You used to watch ducktails, I did. I love ducktails. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a duck. Blur might solve a mystery. Oh, be right history. Ducktails. Where's my sister when I need her? Because I totally shuttle. did a hand bow that looks really cute. Where is she? Every day we're out there making ducktails. She's probably Woo. still working. Tales of day. I'm just curling. Everything. Do bad and good luck tales. Sorry guys, I know you're only seeing the back of it. Unfortunately, well if Dan wants to move it up a little. Da -da -da danger. That stranger. To find you. What to do? Just grab onto some duck tales. Every day that I've been making dumb tales. Tales of daring, do bad and good luck tales. My pony tales are cotton tales, no duck tales. The thing is not. Unfortunately, my. <clears throat> Reef stand is not going to, it's all wonky. So, 
I'm just going to hold it. That's that, guys. I have to do a little bit more fluffing with the bow. But I'm pretty happy with it. I love it. I want some more of it. Thank you, Tommy. So hard. I can't rise above it. Don't know what it is about that little guy's love. So up here, I'm gonna put a little bit more. I want some more. I'm gonna put a white in here. Oh my gosh, the frustration is getting to me. Okay, I'm gonna hit it with um the hair dryer. I'm gonna put a little bit more flowers up here but that's it guys i'm sorry that the picture's so bad well i'm holding it crooked sorry <laughs> i'm holding it crooked Ugh. i'll go earlier tomorrow so that way you guys will have enough light very pretty colors are thank so pretty thank you i it was the inspiration was the, the sign itself. Like I said, you just need to get inspired by one thing. It could be a ribbon. It could be the flowers. It could be a number of things. And then go at it. Seriously. That's bothering me. This is bothering me right here. Right there. So I'm going to put some white really quick. Ah. Fix it in post. I got some of this. Yes, Pinky. Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. Which is right here. It was like it didn't have I need a little something something. That's a something something I needed, I think. Ugh. Grapevines are heavy. Uh, <laughs> nobody can see the part you added. Why? Because it's way higher than Oh, the sorry. <laughs> and I just look right at that light. And woo, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It just needed that something. Okay, now it makes me happy. Now it makes me happy. No angry faces. Why are you angry? Why are you sad? There's no reason to be angry or sad. Well, there is, but we're just doing what we need to do, right? Creating some joy, having some fun. That's what we need right now, guys. We really do. Cause I've been taking care of business every day. Taking care of business every way. Taking care of business. I'm still playing. Look at me. I'm it's still. Right. Taking care of business okay, I think I... and working overtime. Wow, seriously? <laughs> this little part right here. Everything's going to bug you. You're never going to end this live. Yeah, I am going to end it. I promise. Because I'm going to end it and then I'm going to put my picture up it'll be good because then now this will sit better up here I put that other one back in guys it'll sit proud Mary it'll sit proud Mary lift up your job in the city all oh, these glue strands are driving me nuts you guys have a good evening bye Betsy bye all right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for playing and staying on. I really appreciate it. Remember, go ahead and go to my YouTube channel, Amy Rose, one word, space crafts, C R A F T S, and check out my videos on YouTube. Right now, they're all unique in the creek, but we'll be adding more. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and until next time, so long, farewell, I 
vida say adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you and you who. Bum ba dun 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 dun. Bye everybody.